Factoring by pulling out the greatest common factor. Do you remember the distributed property? When we played with it in using integer decomposition, it allowed us to distribute. Right? This is a property of numbers. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 times 8, 7 times 4, which is 8. This is just 14. But we knew that because this was just 2 times 7, right? This was just 2 times 7, and we knew that that was 14. This is just a property of numbers. We, we can distribute uh, this too. But notice that this 2 is also a factor of both 6 and 8. 2 is a factor. 2 is a common factor. Not only, two is, not only is it 2 a common factor, but 2 is the greatest, the greatest common factor. Common factor. Right? That's why we call it the GCF, the greatest common factor. Distributing leads to factoring. Factoring leads to distributing. They're inverse processes. So here, we can distribute this 2, and this is 6x plus 8, whereas here, we can first identify what, if any, factors uh, those two terms have in common, and we see that they have the 2 in common, 2 times 3x plus 2 times 4. We can pull out the 2. We can pull it out. And this is just 3x plus 4, which is exactly what we have here. So here we are distributing, and here we are factoring. We just have to be careful, because sometimes w the variables, we may have variables as common factors, we may have constants, we may have both. So we just have to be careful, like here, only the B, th only the only thing that they have in common is B. So we have B, 5B squared plus 10B minus 1. And if we want to check, we want to check our process, in which we should, especially at the beginning, we multiply this times the, the b times the first term. This is 5b cubed plus 10b squared minus b. Let us consider another example. In this case, what they have in common is a 3. They have a factor in common because this is 3 c squared minus 3 times 2. So we can pull out the 3. We can pull out the 3 and we have 6 squared here minus 2, which we can also check like we did in the previous example. Thank you.